Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, square A, B, C, D such that uh, B, D is the main uh, diagonal and this uh, line segment A, E is equal to this uh, line segment E, F and furthermore, uh, this uh, angle uh, F, C, D is represented by X and now our task is uh, to calculate the value of this uh, angle X Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And here's our very first step. I have connected uh, this uh, point uh, A and this point uh, F. And as a result, we got uh, this uh, triangle uh, AEF as an isosceles uh, triangle since these uh, two sides are uh, congruent. So in other words, uh, this angle is going to be congruent uh, to this uh, angle. Let me go ahead and uh, label this angle as an alpha. Then this angle has got to be alpha as well. Let's focus once again on this uh, isosceles triangle AEF. And now let's recall the exterior angle uh, theorem. According to this theorem, exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of two opposite uh, interior angles as you can see in this uh, diagram. Here uh, this angle C is our uh, exterior angle whereas uh, angle A and uh, B are, uh, are our opposite uh, interior angles. Then uh, we are going to have uh, angle C equals to A plus B. So therefore in our case uh, this angle is going to be our uh, exterior angle and that is going to be equal to some of these uh, two opposite uh, interior angles. Uh, alpha plus alpha is going to make uh, 2 times uh, alpha. So therefore this angle is uh, 2 alpha. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, angle is uh, 90 degrees and this is our main uh, diagonal of the square. So therefore uh, this angle is going to be 45 degrees and this angle is uh, 45 degrees as well. And here's our next step. Let's focus on these uh, two triangles. This green shaded triangle and this uh, blue shaded uh, triangle as well. And we can see that this uh, side length of the square AD is uh, equal to this uh, side length uh, CD. So therefore we conclude that uh, these uh, two triangles ADF and the other triangle uh, CDF uh, are uh, congruent triangles according to side angle uh, side uh, congruency theorem. Since uh, this side is congruent to this side uh, of the square, these two angles are 45 degrees each and this uh, side length uh, is in common between these two triangles. And since uh, these uh, two triangles are uh, congruent, so therefore uh, this angle is uh, congruent to this angle. So this angle is going to be angle alpha. So therefore we conclude that uh, this uh, angle x equal to this angle uh, alpha. So therefore I can write down uh, angle x equal to this angle uh, alpha. And now let's recall the alternate interior angles uh, theorem. According to this theorem uh, angles formed on the opposite sides of a transversal when a transversal intersects two parallel lines. As you can see in this uh, diagram, these uh, two are our uh, parallel line and this uh, AC is uh, our transversal. Then uh, this uh, angle is going to be congruent to this uh, angle since they are alternate interior angles. If this angle is 2 alpha, then this angle has got to be 2 alpha as well. And here's our next step. Uh, let's make an observation. We can see that this whole angle is uh, 90 degrees and furthermore uh, this whole angle is uh, going to be equal to alpha plus uh, 2 alpha is going to become 3 alpha. So therefore I can equate uh, this uh, 3 alpha equals to 90 degrees. So let me go ahead and write down uh, 3 times alpha equals to 90 degrees. Let me go ahead and divide uh, both sides by 3 to isolate uh, alpha and here 3 and 3 is gone. So therefore our angle alpha turns out to be 30 
degrees but we know our x equals to alpha and alpha equals to 30 degrees so therefore uh, we conclude that this uh, angle x is going to be equal to 30 degrees so thus our angle x turns out to be 30 degrees and that's our final answer thanks for watching please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye